Hey guys, Jewelfish here. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Minecraft OP Prison here today on the OP Legends Network. Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we are going to be unlocking a top secret brand new armor that multiplies your money and goes ahead and makes you one of the best servers on the player or one of the, the, the one of the best players on the server over here, ladies and gentlemen. I got too excited because this player right here is kind of wearing what we might be getting into later in today's video. That is right we are going to be unlocking this crazy armor in today's episode and talking a little bit about it before we go ahead and get too far into that though we are going to go ahead and give 1000 credits away to one lucky viewer watching today's video all you got to do to enter that is comment down below your minecraft username and go ahead and consider dropping a like and subscribing on today's video. Today's episode is going to be jam-packed with content as recently I got sick for like four days and I was like bound to my bed. So I've been unable to hop on the server, but we did get a bit of a grind session in today. And let me tell you folks, there is a ton of content in today's episode. So you definitely want to stay watching to the end to find out where we are at on the server because it gets pretty freaking wild. One thing I noticed logging on today is that there's an egg at spawn and when you right click this egg it goes ahead and gives you a voucher brand new enchant they added to the enchant menu the easter basket enchant which has a chance to find easter eggs while mining and as you guys can see i've already found 40 of them and i've only applied the 40 level voucher this very first egg goes ahead and gives you right away boys if you can't find this egg you might be a little dumb because it's right here right when you log on so boys if you want a free 40 levels of this brand new enchant log on and right click the first egg i've only been able to find a few more eggs like this one here but apparently i have a secret list of all the coordinates and i might go ahead and find every single one on a quick time lapse right now i think that's what i'm gonna go ahead and do boys some of these eggs literally can go ahead and give you start of the world crates this second egg back here went ahead and gave me two start of the world crates when i claimed it and if you don't know start of the world crates are crate keys that are worth I don't know a ton of money those are literally irl paid cosmetic items right there ladies and gentlemen so you don't want to miss out on the start of the world crates but anyways guys i'm gonna go ahead and fly around and try and find all these eggs all right i may or may not include the time lapse because that was really embarrassing but i found 16 out of the 18 eggs and through that hunt we got some pretty op rewards like this 0.3 beacon booster this 1.5x orb booster and i believe there are two creators here on the server for the easter egg hunt who have made full guide videos so if you guys want to find out where every single egg is rather than just going off a list of coordinates go check out their videos but i'm not doing that in today's video so make sure to go check out those videos but that's not what i'm doing in today's video we got some pretty good rewards though like these super pet boxes we're just going to claim those up delete the beginner pets and hopefully we didn't get any like tier six dragon burst pets but yeah now we can finally get into the meats of today's video we also got crazy boosters by the way so be sure to go claim these easter eggs like this is crazy loot right here ladies and gentlemen 1.25 x uh pet booster like that's gonna be nuts the lucky block booster all sorts of stuff up in there ladies and gentlemen tons of orbs that we unlock which are just gonna drop on dragon burst and yeah now we're gonna start talking about all the grinding that i did off camera because our pickaxe is looking nuts and so is our rank. We are now rank 94,000. In last video, we are only rank 87,000. Before we get too much further into that, from the Easter egg hunt as well, I keep forgetting. We also got this cherry blossom loot box, which is kind of crazy OP. I don't want to get too much in. I mean, we're about to. This cherry loot blossom loot box is a loot box they just added to the server. And I just got this from doing the Easter egg hunt. So I'm going to pop this open. And hopefully we win the there's a reward in here that goes ahead and gives you more easter egg hunt enchant booster but unfortunately ladies and gentlemen we did not get that we got a few rank ups in 80 million orbs which is pretty much the worst case scenario i don't know this is a start of the world crate but yeah that kind of sucks for us as well as that new loot box they also added the brand new april case since it is april 1st we got limited items up in here and we could go ahead and open two of these crates i have 2800 credits available right now and i do wish i could go ahead and pay to win some brand new cherry loot boxes because boys if we go ahead and right click that we can go and see you can literally unlock levels of the easter basket enchants instead of having out a 40 out of 200 and we could also go ahead and unlock this easter armor but that's not going to happen unfortunately unless unless we work some magic hold up boys we're gonna drop a little bit on these crates here so we're gonna open two of the brand new april cosmetic crates to go ahead and see what we pull we got a nickname ticket that is the worst possible reward we can get from that okay you know what? we're not gonna complain we're, we hope we get something better we got a backpack theme springfields i 
Okay. Hopefully, hopefully that's good. Boys, I don't even know where that went. It's not in my backpack. I don't know what a backpack style is. Maybe it's in, uh, like, I have no idea what the hell that was. Well, that opening was unfortunate, but we are going to go a little bit more pay to win, ladies and gentlemen. With this person... Wait, register untouchable private mind block grass block. What the hell? This person has grass block as their mind block. That is ridiculous. I, I don't have that. I wish I had that. But since that opening was a little bit disappointing, I do want to go ahead and make sure we do a little bit of pay to win in today's video. The admins just sent us 2,900 credits here on the server, and we can go ahead and get this modifier bundle, which will give us three of the cherry blossom loot box crates, the main thing we care about, but also some tier two random ultimate mod modifiers and some bonus boosters. You know, those don't matter much. But yeah, let's go ahead and see what modifiers we got. Consume 6,000 EXP, but gives a 4X beacon boost. That's kind of some mid. <gasps> Boys, we got a 3X orb boost. Oh my God. That is crazy. That is, boys, oh my, okay. I haven't been this hype playing Minecraft in a minute because, boys, we just got a 3x or boost pickaxe modifier. God damn. Bro, this one kind of some mid, but this is crazy. This is nuts, ladies and gentlemen. Ultimate modifier, limit of one per pickaxe. Let's get that. Oh, you have no remaining modifier slots on your pickaxe. I guess that wasn't even one of them. The other one probably went to my mailbox. Oh, oh our nickname tick. Oh, there's our other. I'm such an idiot, boys. Anyways, the other stuff should have went in here, but it doesn't look like we have the other ultimate then because ultimates can be applied wherever I thought. That's still crazy. I may as well go ahead and delete my old uh, freaking 1.5x so I can put this on right away. Because that's just a waste of time if we're not using that right away. I went ahead and used my 20 rebirth points on going ahead and keep my, my pickaxe modifiers when I do rebirth. So this will be forever be on my pickaxe now. Holy crap, I keep getting sidetracked. Let's go ahead and pop up these cherry loot boxes right here. Let's do the first one. It says fun. There we go. 20 million blocks of orbs. We got 250 rank ups, 125 rank ups. We got a dragon booster booster. We got an orb boost modifier of uh, 3x once again okay turns out that's not too crazy now uh, we have two of them but if we get two of those going once i reach a million blocks mine it is over ladies and gentlemen but yeah a loot finder pickaxe modifier kind of submit if i can message toggle or toggle guys i don't know how to toggle my messages i cannot sell you any of these items these are all spawned in admin items but please give us the easter basket enchant upgrade and wow it did not but now we have a 4x or booster which is going to be nuts and some crazy other boosters i have too many boosters my pv is just get getting full of crap right here ladies and gentlemen i mean boys like look at my freaking mailbox out here there's too many like pet boxes and stuff that i even know like what to do with like this is ridiculous but it looks like i got another t2 exp siphon ultimate modifier oh that's so exciting so exciting that was sarcasm if you couldn't tell but yeah off camera your boys been doing a ton of grinding and we're finally gonna get into that not only after we spend these 260 million orbs on our dragon burst enchant which we nearly have maxed out now at level 9000 boys we have tier 5 modifier boxes too let's see our luck here we got a tier 1 beast mass what the hell yeah that sounds like ass okay we are just not using those i'm so bummed out we didn't pull any easter basket enchant that's like the only thing i wanted from those cherry blossom crates but hopefully later on in the season, it won't matter too much. With all the Easter crap they're doing here on the server, as you can see, the mine is quite festive out here, guys. If you do mine, visit Jewelfish. You can come mine at my mine over on the server. And we got the Easter bunnies up in here. But off camera, your boy has been opening some keys, doing a ton of mining and AFKs with the slash robots. I've been claiming my rewards here, doing a ton of AFKing. Even while I was sick for a few days, I had this running up. And now we have a ton of crate keys saved up. And honestly, I'm going to go ahead and save opening these for my rebirth. But as you guys can see, we have thousands of crate keys saved up. But now it's time for the super huge freaking pet backpack box opening. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. I'm stuttering a ton. Let's go ahead and do the regular pet boxes first and just slowly ascend all these guys. We're going to delete the beginner pets and pop and open all of our regular pet boxes. There we are. Delete beginner pets and ascend all like nuts. Ladies and gentlemen, it's just a process. You got to spam upgrade all these guys. We have all our pets in here. 
We don't have a tier 7 lucky block pet, but let's see if we can maybe get a tier 7 dragon burst pet because off camera, I did actually stop using the tier 6 lucky block pet in favor of the dragon burst pet because when we rebirth later on, this is going to be way more useful. And I'm going to go and explain that later in today's video. But now we got to open the ultra pet boxes. These have way better loot boys. Like these have tier 1, tier 3, tier 5 pets, and they have more variety of pets, including the dragon burst pets. So we got to start opening these guys as well. And let's slowly do that. Delete the beginner pets. And ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh, we're getting close. We're getting close to that tier seven, ladies and gentlemen. Let's pop open another two stacks of these bad boys. Delete the beginner pets. And come on, tier seven. No, no. <gasps> we have two tier sixes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, crap. Guys, we are all out of pet boxes. Let's delete the beginner. Yeah, that's unlucky. But do we have a tier seven lucky block yet? No, it doesn't look like it. Let's ascend all. Yeah, not looking too good in this department, ladies and gentlemen. But we are pretty close to a tier 7 Dragon Burst pet, which would be on par with our... Oh, I mean, it'll be better than our Lucky Block pet at that point. So I'm going to be happy with that. And finally, we've got a free loot box to open up. And now we can finally get in, into the deets of today's video. We got some more Ultra Pet Boxes, some Rank Ups, and regular Pet Boxes, and 30 Rank Ups. You know, nothing too great. Let's do this once again. And no, no... So unfortunately from that opening, we weren't able to upgrade our Dragon Burst pet at all, but it does look like our inventory in the pet backpack is looking a little leveled up. So that is quite useful off camera. I definitely need to be focusing on going ahead and leveling up the ultra pet boxes in my slash robots. And I do actually have a new thing. I want to get rid of this loot crate one in favor of finding more ultra pet boxes. But off camera, I did go ahead and unlock an ultimate robot key, which went ahead and gave me one that generates a start of the world loot box. If I can even find that right. Boys, this advanced loot box robot goes ahead and generates me one start of the world loot box crate every single day, which might be crazy OP. I mean, those have 32 ultra pet boxes in them and some pretty cool rewards like ranks and like ultimate modifiers. So yeah, this might be worthwhile to go ahead and start grinding out in the AFK world as well as some ultra pet boxes. Honestly, regular pet boxes are kind of trash now since we just need to focus on the tier 6 dragon burst pet anyhow. As I have been saying a few times in today's video, I did get sick for a few days and I was unable to grind, but today specifically, I was able to grind for a good 3 hours here on the server. And from last video, we are rank 87,000, now we're nearly 95,000, and we've been able to nearly max out our dragon burst and orb greed enchants. Throughout that 2-3 to three hour grind, there were some players on the server who had 5x orb boosters activated, as well as some crazy money boosters, but most importantly, they also had global dragon boost activators for 1x. So that means my dragon burst enchant was basically doing double. I had a ton of crazy boosters on as well, like key finders and such. So yeah, it was just a crazy grind session, and I was able to go ahead and focus up and grind out the Dragon Burst and Orb Greed. And since I switched this T6 Dragon Burst pet, the Dragon Burst activations happen way more often, and I'm making a ton more orbs when I go ahead and grind out here, because it's just activating more. So the meta for me right now is to go ahead and continue grinding up my enchants for Dragon Burst and Orb Greed. That way, once I have those two max out, orbs will literally be free, and I'll be able to upgrade all sorts of enchants super fast on the rest of my pickaxe. For those of you that don't know, rebirthing is a super part, a super important part of the server. And to rebirth, you need to max out every single enchant on your pickaxe right here, ladies and gentlemen. And to do that, you're going to need a lot of orbs, and we need to be able to make the most amount of orbs in the quickest way possible. And the best way to do that is to max out, obviously, your orb greed enchant, but the dragon burst enchant because those go hand in hand. As you guys can see, when the Dragon Burst and Orb Greed work together, it goes ahead and does eight blocks of activations, which is making me 300,000 orbs literally like every second out here. So at the end of the day, that is why I ended up switching over to a Dragon Burst pet. And also when I go ahead and do my rebirth, I'm gonna lose like everything out here. I just realized I've been using the wrong tier six Dragon Burst pet. This is the one, it gives me a 0.26 boost. But yeah, this guy's gonna help me out a ton because when you rebirth, everything pretty much resets. Your rank doesn't reset, but your entire pickaxe resets. But in the rebirth shop, you can actually go ahead and buy an ability. As you guys can see, there's a point shop and I went ahead and spent my first 20 points. I think everyone starts out with in, on eternal tuning, which keeps your pickaxe modifiers. So when I have two three point oh x pickaxe modifiers on my pickaxe and i go ahead and rebirth i'll be keeping all my ore boosters all my money boosters right on my pickaxe anyways boys just because the way rebirthing works in the way orbs are super limited to find on the server and trade with players rebirthing is gonna be a bit of a tricky challenge for me i think i'll be able to max out the pickaxe very soon here on the server 
but it's going to be hard for me to do, you know, a second or third rebirth. So we have to think conservatively by saving our keys and making sure all of our enchants and modifiers like our dragon burst pet is going to help us get the most amount of orbs when we reset our pickaxe. Resetting our pickaxe is literally going to be a huge pain in the butt. So yeah, this dragon burst pet is going to help me recover from all of that. Also, keeping certain rewards like just the keys is going to be huge as well because inside of every crate keys, obviously, you can win a few thousand orbs here and there, like 250k blocks of orbs from a random loot crate. That's also pretty solid. So we got to keep that in mind as well. I did end up missing last week's payout, so I don't have any idea where our gang placed on gang top. But if we go ahead and check, type gang top again, my gang is still second place right now. I know we haven't deposited everything we have. Maybe Sirtorn is depositing everything we have, but we're pretty much uh, like Big Moko and Sirtorn play quite a bit, but I think Sirtorn plays even more than Moko. Sirtorn's like one of the top players on the server and he's just soloing our gang. So I want to give a huge shout out to him and I definitely got to make sure to hopefully be online for Saturday to deposit. Oh, I got work on boys. I won't be here for payout again. This is kind of tragic. I'm going to deposit my beacons before I log off for the weekend. But, um, yeah, what that shout out to Sirtorn. That's, that's what this clip was meant to say. Yeah, but right now for me, a single level of Dragon Burst is costing me a million orbs. So it's about to get real expensive. But once I have these two max out, every enchant's going to come super, super freaking easily. Starting out on the server, there's a few things I just didn't know about at all. Like how Dragon Burst and Orb Greed work directly together to increase this block counter here. And honestly, this video, we're going to try and get it to nine blocks before I end it off here. But yeah. When I rebirth, that is the first thing I'm going to be doing is trying to get that up to maybe four blocks like right away before even buying anything else. Definitely get some key finder up in there. But yeah, like as you can see, just from like two minutes of mining, I've already regenerated 100 million of my orbs. Granted, there's a 5x booster online the server right now, but there's always someone online running a global booster. I swear to God. But yeah, let's go ahead and drop 100 million levels on key finder. Just to go ahead and get that a little more leveled up where that way we're also banking up more keys for when we reset our pickaxe. I'm going to go ahead and hit a quick grind session out here, ladies and gentlemen, and hopefully we either max out Dragon Burst or get real close to it in today's episode. Speaking of Sir Torn though, he went ahead and gave me some extra Easter eggs out here, ladies and gentlemen, and I don't know if we have enough to craft our first piece here, but it does look like we have a total of like four stacks now, which is like we're really close. We're super close. If we right click the Easter eggs, these are actually found in the Easter basket enchant. And oh, we can actually craft the Easter chest plate, which is going to give us 0.10x beacon, uh, 0.5 lucky block and 3x money right there. And it looks like we had just enough pretty much to go ahead and get the first piece of that armor. Once we have this armor max out, this is going to be absolutely huge and it's going to help us re reach rank 100,000 super fast. So yeah, I'm definitely going to keep saving up for the rest of the set. And there we go. We got the first piece of Easter armor in today's video. So the video title is not entirely clickbait. All right. So I'm going to buy the last 100 levels of orb greed I need. And now our orb greed dragon burst activations are going to go ahead and do the nine block procs. So yeah, we didn't max out either of them in today's video, but we got it all the way up to nine blocks with just another few minutes of mining. I'm not going to complain about that, ladies and gentlemen. Off camera, I'm going to continue to grind and max out our dragon burst and orb greed and later on the key finder and slowly work through everything, which in the next Next episode we might actually have all the way to a max out pickaxe where we are just straight up grinding and saving for keys for the official rebirth that episode it might be next episode but the next episode might just be the max pickaxe episode we're gonna go ahead and have to see this episode was super jam-packed and that's kind of expected it's all over the place we got the, the bunny following us all around okay that is pretty cool but we're ending off today's video with a super strong pickaxe we got fortune 9000 efficiency 8000 Dragon Burst 9,000, Key Finder 2,000, Orb Greed 4,500, and you know, everything else kind of trash. But I am just going to say, this is about to get crazy out here, especially after I delete this 2x Loot Finder, and we go ahead and find that other 3x Orb Boost uh, like modifier right there. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have 6x Orb modifiers on my pickaxe. Some of you might call me crazy for that. But man, I'm just in love with the orbs, ladies and gentlemen. Since players can't trade orbs with each other here on the server, it's super important for me to go ahead and grind out as many as my own personal orbs as possible. Because it's not like anyone can boost me and just give me a ton of orbs. I need to grind for all those bad boys myself. Boys, I just need to start wasting up these boosters too off camera. I'm not going to have a ton of time to grind this week either. 
That's why I need to focus on orbs to get the most amount of content for you guys. Unfortunately, that's why I had to delete that. But yeah, I just need to remember to use these boosters because like I don't have enough time to use all these effectively. So I just need to activate these whenever and I'd rather be out of boosters and actually using them rather than having them sit all over my inventory because that's all they typically do. I have too much crap going on here. Other than that, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode of Minecraft OP Prison here today on the channel. Let's head over to the spawn for the outro. Um, yeah, once again, all over the place. I tried my best to contain this content in one video. Next video, we'll definitely maybe have a max pickaxe, but we'll definitely reach rank 100,000. But other than that, I want to thank you all so much for the continued support here on the OP Prison series. Honestly, this is a super fun server to keep on grinding and having fun with. We have 650k blocks mined this map, which is huge for me. And hopefully next episode, we're closer to seven or 800,000 blocks mined. But other than that, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. You're all amazing, beautiful people. Thank you so much for supporting the server and the channel. It directly supports me. Other than that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and see you on the next one. Peace out, home dog. I love you guys so much.